In this video, we will talk about the BioCube stock lights, its components, and how you can use the controls to set a schedule for your reef tank. There are three preset channels. Channel 1, or bright whites, looks like this. Channel 2, also known as the beauty lights, includes more red spectrum and looks like this. Channel 3, or actinic lights, looks like this. Note that channels should be run overlapping to maximize photosynthetic active radiation. I made a video testing various PAR levels, which I'll link here. I wanted to take a minute to talk about the BioCube controls. Four buttons, power, menu, which is really set the calendar, and then up and down. There's also a keyhole button or pinhole button here for reset. If you ever experience problems with the system, or it doesn't seem to remember your schedule, put a paper clip into that reset button and it will wipe the memory and restart the functions. Set the time. First you'll do 24 hours or a 12 hour. Those are your two choices. I prefer a 24 hour. This is setting the current time. It's now 627 p.m. so this is okay I click through. This is now setting channel 1 on time. I want this on for four hours so from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. This sets the hours. Click it once and it does the minutes. And you go up to the minute. This is for channel 2. Turn time to turn on. Turning on at 1.30 p.m., which I'm happy with, slightly before full blast. And I want this on for eight hours. So I'm going to move this up to just before 10 p.m. Actually, I will make it 10 p.m. Oops, no. I'll make it <laughs> 8.59. This is for channel three on time. Starting at 12.30, which I'm happy with, and turning off at 1.30 in the morning. Now it's set. Here's the BioCube LED board. You can see there's different types of LEDs here. The center one, all the same color, are actually the actinic lights, so channel three. The bright whites are most of the rest. But those you see that have a little bit of a tint to them here are the reddish LEDs that make up most of channel two. The main benefit of this is that it's easy to program and it also covers a large portion of the tank, both front to back and side to side. So an LED here is shining light in a cone like this. If you take the cover and LED light board out of the hood, you'll find these two components. This cooling fan pushes air into the chamber where the light fixture is and keeps it cool. I found it to be laughably loud, so I ended up taking it out of one tank. Um, you can do so by removing this pin right here and taking it out entirely. But the circuit board here is an interesting piece. Here we can see the buttons that we actually are pushing on the outside of the tank up and down, menu, power. Importantly right here is the source of the pinhole key to reset. The battery offers the power that allows this board to remember what you've input earlier in this video. If it ever fails, this battery can be changed. It also recharges each time the power is cycled. That concludes our tour of the lighting system. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. Please be sure to check out my videos discussing the light schedule, as well as PAR meter testing for the tank, both the stock light system and with supplementary actinic lights. 
If you enjoyed the video, please consider a like and subscribe. For a new channel, a subscriber means a great deal, and I appreciate your support.